Because when Nigeria ni so free, and the same year be two jobs, yeah, or three, we say a year. O suro kasi e denja bi e wè ni mwa sa denja no e mani suro pa ni ma e yo ura jwa jwa mè ni ma hama wè chè mwa 47 days yi a kèi sa denja nè wò dote ba e jwa jwa mè ni ma hama e ni mwa no se wà mpò bi a wò ni mwa 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 sem kèsi e pa a mwa nè ndi a mwa no e wò mwa mwa wà mwa a sem kèsi e e bè tu e yo ura jwa jwa mè ni ma hama wò chè mwa e yè spirit bi e ni mkò fwo bi e ni asu mwa 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 ba Eh John Dramani Mama, enchaya ati se sa spiri teno, amu be beki shi se ora John Dramani Mama, o besa elusu eh yes seven December no, elunti lo ati se ora John Dramani Mama, eh kwenye circles ye, eh namfu, eh ni mkofu, amu kwenye mweshi ya, eh yes sa, eh che se ati chinchina, yebe yebe dana no, eh yes asukwa, yangu kongo tiye eh yes asofu imra ya ba, dia kebi abusi ya, eh yebe tuwa asupu pepe. Listen, I've been wanting Mahama, John Mahama. If Mama did not do what is needful, he will not win this election. It was going to be waste. I am telling him loud and clear. John Mama, if you don't do what is needful, you will fail this election. Not everyone will not fall. And that is the end of your political career. If you are in this year, you are here. Tell Mahama that his life is at stake. Spiritually. Hmm. I saw that his front is protected, but his back is not protected. And they have fired something. And the thing is very close to him. God at his please. back. Listen, if Mahama walks into December 7 whole, healthy, and hearty, NDC will win the elections. Guys. If he is whole and healthy, NDC will win. But if what I'm seeing hits him, I won't say more than that. Tenace, tenace, ekonye, sit down, sit tenace. down, Mahama. This is your stool. Sit on it, Mahama. I have a word for the nation of Ghana. The Lord said to tell you that it's about to raise a Samuel. The ignored is about to become the honored. It's the one that has been pushed aside is about to gain recognition. I heard the Lord say, Tell them. And He showed me prophetically. He said, Stand on that platform and let them take the national anthem. He said, and As they do that, there's going to be a transfer in the realm of their spirit. And help us to resist our presence rule with all our will and might forevermore. And help us to resist our presence rule with all our will and might forevermore. A new gun from years ago, the Lord opened my eyes of who shall be the president of Ghana. That prophecy trended. It was published on newspapers. And when the man I mentioned heard about it, the man asked that I should come, that they should bring me. I was preaching in New York. The man he spoke with in New York did all arrangement and they brought me to Ghana. In fact, in the man's house. I met the current president of Ghana now by name, His Excellency Nana Akufo Ado. And I told him what God said. And I prayed for him. But hear this. The thing was that the man saw the prophecy and obeyed. And immediately he obeyed. After the prayers and following what God have said. The man defeated a sitting president. And the man has completed two tenor. And he's leaving the office 
by end of this year. Now, I've been praying to know who shall be the next president. As I pray, I was listening, but God was not saying anything, and suddenly a vision busted out. What was the vision? I saw in a spot, I saw people that were running. What made me understood that this is a prophecy for Ghana was because I saw a flag of Ghana. Suddenly, I saw three people running. And in that running, the first person in front was the president. But the president was not running. The face of the president that I know, Nana Kufado, was the one that was shown. He was not running. He was having a button on a steady waiting for somebody to take the button to run from where he stopped and suddenly as they were running two people were dragging the line to get to him and the person that took that button from him is not the man in the ruling party is the man in opposition party by the name Mahama as Mahama took that button from him and run he has a little line to cross the line of victory. That line is once you cross it, it means that you have been declared the winner. Suddenly, the button failed off his hands. And the man that was coming toward, I mean second, took the button and two of them was like people that were fighting, rolling, and the man fell off the line. Now let me tell you what shall happen. If I interpret that vision, it means that the people of Ghana we vote Mahama but it means that the candidate of the ruling party I don't even know the person the name of the person will be declared as the next president then God opened my eyes and showed me in the crowd what was going on and nothing God showed me and God told me that is the solution why that button cannot fail off the hand of Mahama and I will not say what it is here now but before the election day, I will come and make an official statement on that. But for now, the man that took the button from the current president is Mahama. But if they can hear the voice of the Lord, hear this one, that button can be protected from falling away from his hands. But if that button fails, as I see it in the vision, the person that shall be declared as the next president is a man that is dressed like a Muslim. I don't know how to explain that. A younger person who will be declared as the president and that man will be the man in the ruling party. But with what I've seen, the choice that will be voted by the people of Ghana with what who collected the button from the current president is Mahama. But to God be the glory. Thus says the Lord.